All right, happy new year, everyone. Um, not sure if I got a chance to talk to everybody after people uh, came back from their breaks. Hope you had a good break and great start to a new year. Uh, like, looks like, uh, I think I may have added Hannes prematurely, but you got Vitali, Robert, George, Jacopo, Remy, and Ben. Uh, yeah, I think we have a, good number of people here so we'll get started and then let me uh, I think you guys can see my screen uh, but let me make that into a full screen presentation mode um, so you guys can all see this can you yes. all hear me yeah yeah all right cool thanks all right, so got a few things on the agenda. I mean, thanks for your flexibility. I, um, getting back from the holidays, I just realized uh, the originally scheduled time conflicted with the uh, event last week. Uh, so uh, appreciate your flexibility. Um, so I just wanted to uh, get started on a few things uh, to, to start off the year. Uh, and obviously we can add other topics uh, towards the end under any other topics if you want to add anything. Uh, so uh, have a link to a work in progress uh, blog post. Um, a couple of you uh, folks already took a look at it, which, which I appreciate. Um, so just wanted to do a couple of things on the blog post. I mean, one is, I mean, you guys, I, I think I mentioned our participation in FOSAM in a few weeks. Uh, but the other key thing that I wanted to do was to sort of celebrate what the what we've done uh, from the wider community uh, during 2019. So I added uh, both of these charts uh, that you see on the slide. Uh, was there a question, or is it just a background noise? Um, all right, I'll just keep going. Um, so I added both of these charts, uh, both of these charts on the slide uh, to the blog post. I mean, the one on the left basically shows, um, you know, community contributions starting. I mean, going back to 11.0, uh, you see a nice uh, upward trending graph, which is which is always nice to see. And then another uh, cool thing uh in 2019 was that we ended the year uh for the 12.6 release with the record number of uh mrs that were merged from the wider community so it was a great way to end the year and and start uh start the holiday vacation um i mean obviously want to thank everyone on the call and the in the community for for the contributions and uh, was really excited to see this um i mean continuing continuous growth uh i mean obviously we'll have ups and downs uh, based on like seasonality and, and other things but uh, it's nice to see this like a nice upward trending graph uh, in terms of uh, MRs getting merged for each release and one on the right uh, just wanted to compare data for the past three years in terms of uh, number of contributors and, and the merged MRs uh, I'm particularly happy with the the contributors, especially if you compare the numbers between 2018 and 2019. We almost like doubled, and which is sort of reflective of, uh, of the number of team members at, at GitLab. I think we uh, more than doubled last year, but uh, I mean this is pretty close in terms of uh, contributing contributors that are, um, are participating in the community. Uh, so that was really really cool to see. Uh, so hopefully we'll see this uh, continuous growth in in 2020. Uh, but yeah, I was I was pretty pretty excited about this one. I tell you the numbers uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, not sure if people have any questions uh, or or commentary, but if not, I'll move to the next slide. Uh, which shows, uh, I mean, top contributors. I mean, this is a final tally uh, for 2019, and um, it, it, I mean, it's not a coincidence that top three people are from the core team in terms of the uh, number of MRs merged. So, I mean, all of you for, for and not just the MRs. I mean, MRs are great, obviously. Uh, we, it's always welcome, but. Uh, I mean, you've always also had hand in like helping other community members like during hackathons or otherwise in terms of like, you know, triaging MRs or encouraging community members to uh, to contribute. So I definitely appreciate that. And um, uh, uh, we have a different uh, 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 customer, uh, like a 
uh, custom uh, merchandise that, that'll be going out shortly, hope, hopefully soon. Uh, but just want to thank uh, I mean everybody on the call who who helped out. So, uh, any comments or questions? I, don't, I wasn't sure if there was. A, it looks like Takuya joined, but I don't know if you have a question. I'm sorry, just uh, I'm coming. What, what, what is your question? Uh, no, no, I, mean, I, I wasn't sure, like, I just, I just noticed that there was, uh, uh, I, I wasn't sure if it was a background noise. I, I, I was asking you if you had a question, if you had any question, because I, I heard something from your line, but if not. I'll move us again, please. All right, cool. Hello? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're if you don't have any questions, I mean, that's that's fine. We can move forward. But uh, other people on the call, if you have any questions, feel free to speak up. Uh, yeah, I I able to to the old uh, March guest uh, as uh, community contributions. Can you update the uh, uh, statistic? For yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the comment. Yeah, so I'll, I mean, obviously. Uh, see if you look at this MR, uh, Takuya, you made a comment about I should probably update some of the community statistics, statistics slides on, on the contribute page. We'll definitely, can definitely do that. And I need to update it that in a couple of places. Yeah, yeah. So. I, mean, I, mean, uh, I, mean, uh, I mentioned about uh, what is, uh, top contributors, not uh, annual uh, statistics of uh, contributors and managers. Uh, what do you think? Uh, for example, the source. Can can you click the source? Uh, I'm sorry, Tokyo. Can you repeat that, please? Uh, can Can you click? Can uh, Can you have access to the uh, some? Uh, sorry, <laughs> I forgot the name of the. Uh, the figures uh, on the list and the source are different now. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't quite catch that, Takuya, but I'm sorry. Did you say like a source and, and these statistics are different or? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. yes. On, uh, on this page or? Uh, uh, this page and uh, uh, figures on VTEX. Detail.io. Uh, let me just see. Let me go to the uh, top contributors page. So, are you referring to this link right here? Yes. Yes. Uh, it should be the same. I mean, I left some of the names off. Uh, so, I mean, basically I exported this chart uh, for the submitters, but I removed people like Marcel because he's part of the GitLab team uh, team member now, uh, but it should be pretty identical. Um, I see. Yeah. Uh, 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 from uh, in uh, uh, this month, we, some March guests are uh, March, so maybe the figure is increased, so some some people are uh, linked up to the enthusiast and also star. So yeah, I mean, I double checked the data as of like a first week of January, and then if you look at the query, I mean, basically, I set the timestamp for like a December thirty first for like MRs to be merged. Uh, I mean, if you see a discrepancy, I mean, please let me know. I mean. If something's incorrect, uh, be happy to correct them. But uh, if you want, if you find something, if you can just uh, follow up on the issue for for this month's call and just point me to uh, where the error might be, and happy to take a look at it. Okay. okay thank you. All right. Yep. Thank you. So. Cool. Okay. Uh, any other questions uh, from other folks? Okay, right. uh, I'll just move right along. Um, 
So uh, not sure if, if you notice, we, I mean, we started this uh, thing called the community office hours. Uh, and this is something that we, I started talking to uh, uh, the package team about a couple of months ago. Um, I, and this came out of one of the iteration office hours that, that Sid holds. And, and I mean, a lot of the product managers, including Tim, were talking about uh, you know, looking for ways to get feedback from the community members. And, and then that's when we started talking about holding office hours. Uh, to invite wider community members, and and uh, separately, I mean, same discussion was taking place in the runners team. Uh, so we wanted to just set up a pretty, you know, informal call with wider community members to talk about, I mean, variety of topics. It's, it's not like a real formalized agenda, uh, but we can talk about like the community contributions that that people have submitted uh, that they wanted to talk about or or get looked at. Uh, feedback on product directions or, or development priorities uh, for each team or I mean one of the things that you know the runner team as you can see from the recordings is that they wanted to also show what, what what's involved in doing uh, MR reviews uh, for community contributions uh, so we started off with the runner team uh, this month and we actually if you go to the playlist you'll see a couple of recordings uh, one was actually more of a planning discussion. It was a short, like a 30, 40 minute call on, so what the format should be and how we want to structure the conversations. And, and the following week we had a, you know, the first uh, formal office hour and we spent uh, the entire hour just um, talking to the community members um, about one of his MRs. Uh, and then, you know, we, you know, I, I think Steve did a great job of trying to understand the motivation for the MR and then trying to figure out like how to, uh, 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 and, you know, and, and try and, and also trying to explain like what are some of the steps that he goes through in uh, reviewing the MR. And we spent the entire like an hour uh, going through that one particular MR with, I mean, Pierre Tardy was, a, was a, he's uh, been pretty active in runner uh, with, with his contributions over the past several months. So it was a, it was a good exercise. Uh, it was a really nice way of getting like a real-time feedback between Steve and Pierre uh, on that particular MR. Um, so, you know, we're gonna continue this with the runner team on a monthly cadence. Uh, so the next, uh, the office hour will actually happen, I mean, during the hackathon, which, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, so, uh, I mean, if, I mean, I, I think a number of you were like interested in looking at uh, some of the backlog of runner uh, project in the past. Um, so, I mean, feel free to watch your recording, and would love to get your feedback. And and the package team uh, that I that I mentioned with Tim Rizzi, like, will kick off uh, their office hour also during the hackathon uh, in in a couple of weeks. Uh, we actually talked to one of the contributors who's like pretty interested in this and he's been actually making contributions over the past year or so. Um, and yeah, he was like definitely interested in, uh, uh, you know, trying this out and participating in conversations. Uh, we would have started this earlier, uh, but it would, except that he was on vacation for like a couple of weeks, a couple of months, uh, starting in December. So we wanted to hold off until he's back. So I believe he's back now. Um, back home in Germany, but uh, so we'll kick it off with the package team uh, next month. And I think this is a really interesting way of, uh, uh, you know, working community members real time, or, I mean, people can obviously watch your recordings of, uh, I mean, uh, discussing various topics that are of interest to the, to the community members. Uh, so there's also a link to a, a handbook update that I made and working, uh, waiting for feedback from the runner team. Uh, it's a pretty simple change on the, describing what the office hours are, uh, but just wanted to give you all a heads up. Uh, not sure if people have any questions or comments, or uh, not sure if people had a chance to take a look at the, uh, look at the recording. Uh, I mean, we try to tweet these like uh, office hour sessions uh, over the past couple of weeks and. Uh, I mean, at least from the Twitter traffic, it, it looks like a decent number of people uh, like the idea of it, but any feedback that you folks may have, uh, or if you want to participate in it going, going forward, 
obviously we'll welcome your feedback and participation. Cool. cool. I think that's a, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, we were, I was I was really happy with the way the runner uh, event went. Uh, I mean, I, I happened to be with Pierre at, at GitLab Commit last week, so uh, uh, I knew he was gonna definitely gonna join like but once he got back to France. Uh, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to iterate going forward. So. Cool. Cool. Okay, um, moving right along. Uh, I mean, Hackathon is, is coming up shortly. It's on the 12th and 13th um, uh, of February. Uh, I'm still trying to, I mean, I haven't updated the Hackathon pages yet because I'm still trying to uh, sort of nail down the tutorial topics and, and a couple of other things, but uh, two office hours that I mentioned, uh, I mean, it's pretty, High likely, I mean, runner is definitely going to happen happen because we uh, nailed on the schedule for it. Package, I'm I'm awaiting confirmation uh, from from Tim, and a couple of others like a secure and defend. Uh, David DeSanto is going to talk. Uh, is looking forward to meeting with the community, and uh, I think I posted this on the core team channel or maybe it was the MR, MR coaches channel uh, about a week or so ago. Uh, we're working with I'm um, working with Myra to do sort of a tips and tricks session on Git uh, for contributors. Uh, so I was collecting topics like simple things like you know how do you do a rebase and um, and I think a couple of people made some suggestions. Uh, so any like ideas or tips you have on that, uh, both Myra and I'll appreciate it. Uh, so looking forward to that and. Uh, 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 so that will probably, hopefully I'll have an MR sort of announcing all of this thing in the, in the next few days. Um, uh, and also if you have any suggestions on issues uh, that we should highlight, uh, highlight for the hackathon that are good for contributors. Uh, one of the things I did notice over the past couple of months is that a lot of people have been taking advantage of the, of the good for first time contributors label. I've seen more of that getting, uh, getting added to issues. Uh, so it'll be interesting to sort of uh, run a query on how many issues there are, but I'll probably highlight those. And uh, I've seen a lot of that in documentations and, and a lot of other projects, so which is, which is, a, which is a good thing. Um, but if you have any others that, that grabs your attention that might be worth highlighting, please let me know. Um, a final thing on the hackathon. Um, so I typically do a kickoff session around this time on, on Tuesdays and it, it happens to coincide with the hackathon. I think this has happened, this happened like a couple of times in the past, uh, where the kickoff session, uh, coincides with the core team call. And one of the things I was going to suggest or ask all of you is, what do you think of the idea of like combining the kickoff call with, with the core team meeting? Uh, I mean, obviously this call is open to anybody uh, to join. Um, so, I mean, from, from that standpoint, I don't think there are any issues of, of, of uh, you know, uh, wider community members joining in on, on the core team discussions. Uh, and also like a tutorial kickoff usually goes about like a 20 minutes. And I mean, this doesn't, and, and this core team meeting call doesn't necessarily go the full, like a schedule 45 minutes. Uh, so wanted to see, you know, I definitely see a value in like combining the call uh, to raise visibility to both, uh, but wanted to get your take on it and see if you have any concerns. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. I mean, appreciate that. I mean, let me know if you have any concerns. Um, I mean, I'll, you know, uh, definitely try to keep the agenda so that it's not overwhelming for, for the core team discussions, but, um, uh, I, I think it's a worth an experiment. If it doesn't go well, we won't, we won't do it again, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. So. Okay. Let me write that down on the notes. All right, all right. Well, thanks for thanks for that.
Um, I mean, those are all the topics I had. I mean, let me pause here. I don't, I don't know if people have any questions or comments on the hackathon. Uh, so right. yeah, I, uh, is, yeah, is go there, ahead, yeah. Is there an issue for uh, this hackathon, like where we can uh, yes, suggest do. Uh, ideas, me... like for the Git tips and tricks or whatever? Yeah, things. let me find the issue. Give me a second. Forgot to add it to the slides. That's a good point. Yep, there it is. Let me just piece it on to the slides. There we go. And, awesome. Yep. Thanks. Cool. All right. Any, I think, George, did you, were you going to say something? Like, I don't know if, if it was you or somebody else that had a comment. Nothing comes to mind. Uh, All right. Cool. Com combining the, the core team meeting with the hackathon will be nice and experiment yeah. with this. Cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, any other topics that people want to discuss? Uh, no. Ray, are, are there yeah. any? Is there any progress with the Community Advisory Council? I know oh, it's not on the that's call, but... a good question. I, I know like Todd had made comments on it right before the holidays and David's not on the call. Uh, so let me follow up with them. Uh, Adding that to the note so I can follow up with David. Yeah, completely forgot about that. Thanks for the reminder, George. Cool. Anything else? Any other topics? No. All right. Well. Appreciate, especially for people in Europe dialing in early, and uh, we'll uh, do this again at the hackathon. Or, oh, I forget. Like, uh, is anyone else coming to FOSAM besides besides me on the call? Or, I guess, yeah, I guess it's just it'll be just me and David. Uh, yeah, you probably saw in the blog post we got some interesting things planned uh, for for the one in a couple of weeks. So definitely looking forward to that. But we'll provide a recap of it during the during the next month's call. Cool. All right. Well thanks for thanks for joining and uh, have a good rest of your day. Thanks, Ray. Nice day. Right. Thanks. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.